Hi, my name is Simon Trezellian and I'd like to speak to you today about the game of chess and how it relates to business. Now I'm at Santa Monica Beach. Uh, this is Chess Park, as you've probably seen in some of the, uh, the Hollywood movies, uh, where you have the old men sitting around uh, playing chess. In fact, there's a couple of them there right now. Now, what you actually see when you see people playing chess is this. See, chess was actually a very ancient game. And it was an ancient game designed to allow generals to actually maximize their ability to work, in, uh, <coughs> work on their strategies and tactics um, when they weren't fighting. Now, the thing about, about chess is that it's played on a chess board. Now, that chess board is made up into 64 equal squares, black and white. And, of course, the chess pieces as well are equal on both sides, both black and white. Now the thing about the chess pieces is that all of them have various different capabilities. Uh, they have different advantages and they also have different limitations as well. Uh, you have the king which actually moves in a very very slow manner, very highly ineffective in the game and yet of course he rules the roost, very much like a board of directors sometimes. You find that some of the more valuable pieces like the, like the queen actually is most valuable because of her greater capabilities and her ability to be able to move in any direction. Now the thing about chess when you actually engage in the game is that you're given the same amount of pieces. You're also given the same amount of moves as well. Now that doesn't happen in business because all, all business is not created equal of course. But imagine when you actually look at the various different pieces. You have pawns, you have bishops, you have knights, you have rooks. Now these would represent in business the various different specializations. You know you'd have your workers, you would have your management staff, you would have your administrative staff, you'd have your financial staff, your marketing and your salespeople. All of these have different capabilities. All of them would also have different limitations as well. Now when you actually look at this as an analogy to business, when you look at the business marketplace, see I've yet to see any business and meet any business that has a uniquely desirable product price pointed where it can be actually desirable to everybody with no competition. The fact is, is that everyone will have access to the same internet. Everyone has access to the same marketing, the same technology. Everyone has access to the same amount of time in a day. So what is actually going to make the difference between a successful business and a non-successful business? Well, what actually determines who's going to win a game of chess? After all, you've got the same amount of pieces. You've got the same amount of moves. So what determines who is going to win? Well, the person that is actually going to win is invariably the most creative, the most innovative, the one with the best strategy, the one with the best tactics, the one that can actually foresee moves way before they happen. In order to really master the game of chess, you have to be able to anticipate the moves of your opponent, normally three moves ahead. Now, I wonder how many businesses are actually able to do that in the marketplace, but those that will, will inevitably win the game. Now, what creates a, a successful chess player is his ability to anticipate what the enemy or the opponent is likely to do, and to be able to counter it most effectively with the resources that he has, whilst at the same time employing those same resources to be able to attack the enemy in such a magnificent, effective manner that they actually create checkmate or win the game. Now, the only variable in the game of chess is the player himself or herself. That's the only variable. And you'll find that the best players are inevitably well trained. They have actually been taught how to actually play the game. They actually know the rules. They know the rules intimately. But they also have a flair. They have something else, that little bit extra, which makes their game extraordinary. Now, the training that one actually achieves for the game of chess is invariably someone could read it from a book, someone could actually see a, a, a DVD on it. But invariably, most people have been trained by someone that they know or someone that they admire, someone that is actually better at the game or understands the game more than they do.
Now, we at the Small Business Gurus, we have access to those type of variables. We have access to the type of people that have experience in actually maximizing the business potential of others. And I would invite you to be that variable, to join us at the Small Business Gurus, at the Accelerate process, and actually come and learn how to win the game because your competition has access to the same facilities, the same resources as you do. Are you going to be the variable or are you competition? Learn the game, learn the strategies and tactics, learn how to utilize your resources most effectively and make checkmate upon your opponents. That's how to win a game, that's how to win in business, that's how to win in life. It's all a game. Well, this is me, Simon Trezelian, from Santa Monica Beach at the uh, Game of Chess. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.